Ram Shafko came out of this integrated digital marketing, fusion marketing. See, nowadays, how are the companies or the FPOs, especially in Agri Extension, how are we using our social media to market ourselves or you are going to do an intervention or it's a farmer first project, a CSP program or a TSP program. See, this is in a typical rural scenario. I need not explain this slide. Okay, so that means people are already having something in their hand and you have to just hook it up and, you know, stream your messages and they will understand. There is no need of very hi-fi English or you don't need of any language. Simply you can shoot out some videos and uh, uh, audio files or some uh, photographs and your job is done. See, now, you see this particular thing, the traditional sales media or when we are doing a farm and home visit, okay, we are publishing a lot of posters, charts, doing exhibition, all these personal media is quite costly. And also the reach is also less, but when you come to the social media platform, okay, things are going to be tenfold, a hundredfold, a thousandfolds, and the reach and integration is going to be very enormous. That's what we have been telling in the slides, and especially in FPOs also, all the shareholders, they communicate only through this particular medium. And let me see what are the various digital uh, agri-marketing things, uh, the status and challenges, you know the ENAM platform, okay, you know, you know the FPO platform, you've got so many uh, different uh, social media marketing is there. Okay, we can do mobile marketing. See, please listen here. It does not mean when I say marketing, it is only the output which is marketed. It can be an output, marketed, aggregated, okay, handled, okay, and then also through a federation, it can be anything. So it can be content marketing or you just want to push the messages. Okay, search engine optimization, you can see that, you know, when you Google and say, okay, FPO Palamnir or FPO whatever commodity, it should come on the top of the search engine in Google, it should appear. So there are a lot of pay-per-click advertisement, email marketing, of course, that is less. So, but when you come to the farmers extension and FPOs, the social media marketing, especially WhatsApp is number one. So now very quickly, we'll go. Okay, uh, this is how it works. Okay, then you know, long back when with the ENAM, before ENAM came, Karnataka had that, uh, okay, Rashtri Electronic Market Service and that actually led to the presence of the ENAM somewhere around uh, 2014. And then, uh, you know, this is how people want to make even this uh, ENAM or the REMS sort of marketing also are electronic. You can do electronic bidding with the ENAM app. Okay, and then you can also disseminate real-time information, online payments, all those things are already happening. So, let us not be under the impression that these are all very utopian terms and there are no rocket science here. Okay, already these things are in place. But this particular session is to tell that how uh, the subject matter specialists around 28 have come here, how you are going to use this or are you going to have a study for it or are you going to study the efficacy, efficiency, setting an hypothesis, okay, whether there is difference between the FPOs, okay, across FPOs, across commodities, across time frame, across states, and this sort of stratification, can you come out of the paper saying that which media is going to be more effective? Of course, some leads are going to be given in this presentation, which can further lead to your research and extension activities, and you are further going to make this as your uh, veto uh, messages and then you are going to spread them further. So now the social media, all the audience, how they are integrated, I need not tell you because I need not tell you how you people use WhatsApp or farmers also similarly use it except, you know, don't think uh, the language is any longer a barrier, simply a video posted is self-explanatory. And most of them things happen in the regional language I alone can write it in five languages, so why can't you? So a uh, lot of uh, local content is there, even dialects are also covered. Suppose, you know, you cannot write a dialect, you can actually put a voice message. In Ifko Kisan, I used to record all the voice messages and put them through the Krishi Devgyan app. So now, uh, in Karnataka, you know, we have got this Krishi Maratha Vahini, okay, which it covers about 162 regulated markets and then all weekly market reports are provided. Okay, it's an Android based mobile application. So there's also a toll free number and uh, it comes from the 
Karnataka State Agri Marketing Board, you can always get into it. Even farmers are actually using this toll-free number. They not only give mobile calls, even WhatsApp, all these integrated things are going on. So now this is how the interface looks like. Um, what are the minimum price, maximum price, support price and so on, you can always see there. So then, you know, long back, uh, we had one student of ours, uh, of course, uh, Dr. Ranjit knows him, Param Kusumon was our MB, PGDM student. So he was uh, working, I don't know whether he works now, he was working on this uh, Reuters Market Light, RML, uh, which, you know, you know, even as way back as uh, 2012, I think, okay, it launched in 2007. So this boy was our uh, uh, PGDM student in 2012 and then he joined this company. So they were already onto this mobile platform, uh, you know, spreading information, market information, market price and so on. So they were operating in 18 states. So obviously the online commodity exchanges. So not to see, people do no longer use the internet. A mobile dunya mutti me and uh, that's how people are using this platform to access almost any sort of information. So what is that the farmers are interested and what is that the consumers are interested? Uh, let us have a very quick look at these features when social media is in there. People would know about the price discovery, what is the future pricing, what are the daily margins, what are the MIS reports, spot pricing and so on. So very important things. See, uh, actually, you know, in, uh, I have one research project on, okay, impact of FPOs. So to my surprising thing, see farmers are not interested, so much interested in the agronomy and package of practice. See, the production information, of course, uh, it is assumed that people know it and, uh, uh, you know, in the initial uh, two or three meetings itself when we conduct a method demonstration or a result demonstration or a meeting, we already tell them how to do and all that. So, but more information they want after the harvest especially price discovery and these sort of things. This is after the output marketing comes. Regarding one more dimension, at the time of production, people would also uh, like to know about the input factorization. What are the various prices? Where can I get nano urea formulation? And so many such things also have been doing. So it has a three-dimensional view. The first dimension is the agri input marketing information. Second is the output marketing and third is some of the value addition and how to go into the value chain. So the marketing activities have already changed. You see now the television ads start at the very last level and then email, then you know, online and then search engine optimization, WhatsApp, these things. And of course various um, business models exist like B2B, business to business, business to consumer. Okay, all those things have been tremendously on an increasing trend which says that okay the impact of social media marketing in social media in agri marketing is always on the rise so now there are so many mobile apps which are used in agri marketing this uh, particular slide i am going to share it with you and still there are many many more but what you should take care when you download a mobile application is okay how stable it is or uh, whether are you downloading a virus or whatever it is. You should be very careful and based on the number of hits and the credibility, you can always use these apps and also train the extension workers how to use this. Maybe whatever. Of course, Ifko Kisan, I've been uh, their consultant and also there is a Krishi Devgyan app. You can download it. Uh, I'll show you some of the screenshots as well. So then um, based on the Popularity of the Agri apps, you know, see these are the some of the downloads, 5M, okay, then uh, whatever, 1M, 500K, so like that, you know, the popularity charts also go, then uh, Government of India also has come out with Kisan Suvida Agri Market and Enam app and people have been using it as well, and then uh, of course in I IAHR I have developed the Arka Weber, I am the principal investigator of this project, it's available in uh, uh, the Play Store, uh, it was launched on 8th February 2021, especially during the peak of the Corona, why this particular project was given to me was, okay, people wanted to do more of direct marketing, okay, uh, using social media and all that. See, uh, it was at that time when this, uh, 
the f new farm laws were introduced and then you know how they took it back all the stories you know i need not tell you that so then i was asked to develop this app with my three co principal investigators so it is available on the store okay you can always do all that you have to do is a simple photo and then your mobile number and then your aadhar card authentication okay it will just like uh, track you just like what the ola and uber is going to do so it will tell you what are the commodities and all that presently it is free of cost when we do the upscaling it may be a bit a charge per click or charge uh, per the volume of transaction and so on so then afterwards you know so we have so many online consumers we made a small study of it okay who are the you know especially in horticulture uh, see we wanted to uh, tackle from where our uh, traffic is going to come for agri marketing production information and so on this is how the graph looks like okay and chili and uh, tomato are the most sought after uh, uh, customers for us and then they want both market production and all that of course other crops are in the order of lesser significance which has been ordinarily put over here so then afterwards um, we also have an ihr resin portal which can be accessed even from your mobile you can order all the uh, seeds and planting material this is how uh, you know our tomato hybrid 17 chili hybrid 14% so these are the two very popular things of course other things also people do it but uh, uh, the online sale exceeds around uh, 68 lakhs and now it should be more than 1 crore whatever so therefore this is the traffic we are looking a quick uh, uh, you know a take home lesson at this stage i wish to tell the gentleman uh, even when i started extension work way back in 1995 many of you were not born because the mobiles were not there we had to do a farm and home visit physically going and you know making a campaign writing the posters by hand i used to do all that but today i have become a total multimedia uh you know social media marketing guy and this is what everybody has been trying to do here so we have umpteen number of uh, platforms i need not tell you what is a blog or how to do whatsapp i'm not here to tell that you already know it and people have been using it see now when you go with the rogers model of the okay that uh, innovators and lagards okay the adoption curve see now normally there is an adoption gap because people are not able to use the technology and the language may be a limitation okay that's why you may ask why people don't read blogs okay why they don't see chat or why ai chat gpt has not become popular or it is yet to become popular it is going to become see only thing is when i say social media literacy that's a very important thing in spite of having all that some people like me may misuse the social media some people may only use it or some people may still have some skepticism and you know some doubt you know whether it is really authentic or not or it is a very vague sort of a media so this is where the chat and blogs uh, come lesser okay so obviously you know the social media goals of course you can uh, there are already research publications available there is an increase in revenue there is a increase in collection and share in the industry content increase in company and the learning object micro set you can virtually get any information through this and the same thing has also been attempted with ai and chat gpt so people are getting more and more of product and service awareness loyalty and fans for everything nowadays not just eating your burgers and things for any information you need not step out of the home so you can just have your social medias in place and have a collaboration innovation promotion okay all these things are actually driving the telephone and relation sales and they are also building brand awareness dr ranjit asked me how to create brand awareness especially in rural areas see now again when i uh, you know dissect the whole problem the input marketing is an urban to rural marketing that in the sense of the mcf mangala fertilizers ncd these are all big players so there is already an information available in social media but the reverse part of it the output marketing should be done by the fpos or the farmers organizations who are at a little disadvantage and therefore 
okay the output marketing should have more social media goals as compared to the input marketing this is what i wish to say here. and there the building the brand awareness has become important see for example i was in iim with dr meena okay there is one wag bakri chai it is a very unknown chai and unlike lipton or taj or anything the ceo of wag bakri and this uh, balaji namkins they were also participants and uh, they are actually uh, you know lesser mortals or they are lesser known brands unlike the big big brands like uh, lays fritos or whatever it is pepsi coke so now how are these uh, small players make a brand yesterday during a chat with one of the ngos i was telling that the fpos have to be federated either to a cbbo or a group of fpos with the same uh, trade na mark or product or based on the interest and then you have to promote a brand for example the sahyadri fpo is there or the nachalur fpo in tamil nadu which deals with all the banana products so it is this sort of a branding and there they should have a tripartite or a quadripartite agreement so for example uh, the krishi vigyan kendra of ihr ihr we are also promoting many fpos through our brand and you know there is one triple diversity fair which starts tomorrow on three days is there at ihr so we have been the partners we have given them an exhibition space and that is how we have been promoting it so this is how the social media bandwagon see now please remember none of these are very uh, individual activities even for example if i see your whatsapp behavior okay there are many research also on that you would have already been a part of some two three groups agri scientist group extension scientist group naram group lunch group so everybody is in one or the other group so for example if i want to communicate only to dr ranjit i don't uh, communicate we have a lunch group which has about 6 7 people we have a norm academy group which has about 100 people including the past people i have an ihr scientist group it is through this sort of a social media bandwagon that you people will have to promote and obviously the data is very self explanatory the internet users over time are increasing and obviously the uh, gadget they are using is a mobile phone so you definitely don't think they'll be coming and sitting with a laptop in front of you so why why year on year also there is a lot of uh, penetration of the internet users obviously mobile phone is the most preferred uh, gadget okay then obviously uh, whatsapp is having a second rank you should be very happy the internet stands number 1 560 so right from a railway information to an enam information to a market information people hit the social media okay then of course uh, twitter instagram they are all lesser mortals so we need not bother much about them and then look at the share of the women in all this social media august almost they are equal in some you know especially in 15 to 34 group okay the rural people have come up look here they have outbeaten the urban fellows so similar trends are there okay the share of women is also fast growing see and this is the pattern of usage i've already been telling most of them have two sims okay they use more than four phones also are there minimum one phone majority two phones also is not a rarity i could say that so since they are using uh, more than five years to so between zero to five years is the majority that's how it works so what do they use mobile phones for obviously calling browsing the internet so when you say browsing the internet it covers whatsapp social media and also all those things which comes on the second rank so now look at the messages i don't see much difference between the rural and urban okay with as per the all the chi square values are given of course games the urban fellows play more games whereas the rural guys uh, play less of the games on the mobiles okay similarly music also i think the urban fellows hear more of music i keep seeing this then uh, regarding seeing more of the visual pictures 
the rural area people are there selfish almost uh, urban is more urban i have this uh, you know selfie trauma syndrome okay setting alarm okay urban guys i don't know what they are so busy for more people set the alarm okay similarly social media usage okay look at all these things okay the urban counterparts are somewhat having a little edge over the rural counterparts but the it is not so the p value okay look at the significance and all that so therefore there is not much difference i could quickly conclude so search engine optimization everybody know that the first result of search engine in google search should be your fpo or your commodity okay paid advertising people are also doing this even in facebook we get a lot of things and you know long long ago the e chowpal in 2000 was you know that was all uh, computer based because the mobile penetration was not so much in those days but today the same concept the usp of e chowpal has been replaced with all the mobile platforms and the social media platforms so now uh, dr ranjit was asking how to build a brand identity for the fpos okay obviously nowadays i think there are so many ceos of fpos the board directors shareholders have logged in so it is not out of place that today every fpo is having a brand logo there's a tag line okay just like you know reliance had a tag line like duniya meri mutti mein okay ye imli ho to sahyatri jaisa so many fpos have already put the tag line with them so and there should be a strong online presence if you want a strong online presence obviously your ceo or director or whoever it is they should be more mobile and computer savvy or you can hire them for a couple of rupees so then creating targeted marketing campaign say so right from june january to december you may have sankranti you may have ugadi you may have navratri chaitra gauri whatever whatever every important event in the indian festival can already be linked with the harvest uh, of your produce and marketing of the produce with a different tagline that is the third strategy the fourth one is there are so many local shandies and local events okay even after uh, june 4th when the results are out, out okay there may be so many hangama in the entire country you can use even such things to build relationship of fpos and things like that then networking with other organization for example ifco is doing this job so wherever ifco goes it has about 25 fpos with them for bazra there are 5 fpos okay for another uh, you know uh, krishi dev gyan app they, they put some other 4 5 fpos and so on so that is how they network and you know everybody should speak the same mantra and especially when it is fpos you can uh, you know i see lot of fpos even in and around ihr or whenever a biodiversity fair is held we give them free stalls i uh, you know i was giving an example of kesar alfonso there is a place called koppal here 300 km from bangalore where kesar alfonso the farm gate price is 100 rupees but kesar alfonso the market price is 300 rupees simply by giving them a stall in bangalore in any of the place you can have a you know location advantage of value addition for 200 rupees don't you think it is a big value addition for everything you need not convert into jam or jelly or juice those things are all outdated so providing you know excellent customer service and you know even ihr and many other organizations are giving you this uh, mobile app advisory mobile development uh, advisory mobile development hand holding free of cost there are so many software companies wipro tcs they are also been doing this and that is how we have to build a brand for our fpos and make a solid presence in the social media obviously through a mobile app like what i told you this uh, arka vyapar app so in i am coverage i need not tell kisan rath is under government app especially for mobility uh, launched in 2020 okay then uh, now a little bit more of branding what dr ranjit was asking see now uh, you know the government of uh, india says whenever a marketing support is asked for they say that the proposal should relate with odop okay that means you know for example mysore has got the 
ODOP for uh, Rasabale, Nanjan Good Rasabale, for example. So, if they come out with a proposal that I want to market Nanjan Good Rasabale or couple with Kesar Alfonso, so an assistance around 5 crore is given. Okay, then the final product should be one to be sold to consumer in the retail pack. So, a packing, a branding, okay, hand holding, and a mobile app, state levels. Uh, Okay, all this uh, to bring a large number of producers together. Okay, product and producer should be scalable to larger levels. So, management and entrepreneurship capability of promoting entities should be established in the proposal. When you write a DPR for branding and marketing supports, you can actually create a local marketing which is going to be streamed through a mobile application. So, at least my division and my co-workers, we have under two co-workers, Dr. Chandra Prakash, Dr. Reena, they have come out with so many mobile apps, we have a marketing app and all that we integrated into the Arka Bhagwani app which is also available on Play Store and it is a, one of the main apps of IHR. So now, see this is a, I think uh, Dr. Ranjit must have visited Surya Pet Enam, okay, how it has changed after the Enam has come, okay, so here it has been just uh, jocularly written. What has changed? Okay, you are seeing. What did not change is commission agents have always been there, but they can't cheat the farmers anymore. See, because it is an online social media, suppose if a commission agent is cheating me, my fellow farmer will send me a WhatsApp message. And now the <laughs> quintal rate is 2,300 for Bajra and uh, that fellow is offering 1,500. So, so therefore, after the social media pre presence and the farm reform, the cheating has reduced to some extent. So we have already told you how the social media and there are a lot of events conducted both by the government, private agencies, okay, it may be farm fair or it is that, uh, you know, in Pune they is going to have Kisan 95, I think Kisan 2025, this is a very annual exhibition conducted every thing and organic melas. So everywhere you should participate. It is not the cost of participation, but it is the, the priority for participation which is going to build your brand. Very, very important. Okay, there are so many Krishi Melas. Of course, IHR also organizes the National Horticulture Fair every year. It is normally in between February 23rd to 25, three days Mela. So, uh, of course, in Pragati Maidan, you have umpteen number of uh, Melas. Try to participate and don't really, you know, be afraid of the entry fee and the exhibition stall cost and obviously some agency may also even support you. So the plan is the government is integrating 5000 FPOs into digital commerce portal for sales and there is one more person I heard who speaks about the ONDC platform. So I am not even touching that, Arka Samachar, I have already told you, this is a YouTube broadcasting service, a totally social media based service where episodes are done every week. Okay, every week there is an episode with a problem solution and then we try to give some information to farmers and actually this is a not only brand building exercise but also an awareness building campaign I could say. So that is myself, I was the, the producer director for the Zarka Samachar stream from IAHR and then um, you know, Arka Vyapar, we have already told you, it is available in Google Play Store. Arka is our trademark, it's available like this, download. So just need to register with Aadhaar and phone. Okay, and then, you know, every customer, so where is he available? Even his geotagging is done here. So suppose I am a customer sitting in Calcutta, I can always get something from Bhupal or uh, Madhya Pradesh. The, uh, you know, prices are also informed. You can see product description and contact. You can fix the transactions. But only thing is we don't uh, take the responsibility of your financial transaction. And that's all on your own. We only uh, give you a small bridge to uh, link yourself, the buyer and the seller. So you can always contact. So this is how uh, you know, it's been launched from 2021. Now, the research study part of it. See, the lockdown period has given enough indication, myself Dr. Venkat Kumar, uh, this is from our research paper which has come here, different models 
of marketing have been used using social media i'll explain one by one these are actual uh, figures just give me one minute if you carefully look at the see during lockdown period why we have put lockdown period is we have used social media as a platform in lockdown period okay in the previous year it is there look at the two comparisons when the social media has been used look at this table or the prices realized have been higher point number 1 the volume traded has not fallen down two lessons and at the same time look at the there are in some crops there's a marginal increase 1 rupee okay you see this only in guava it has reduced so the actual data has been arrived at after accounting for transportation charges also see whatever social media you can use even during lock, lockdown period but physically when uh, the product has to move there won't be a hangama but uh, it uh, it involves transportation charge and uh, some other risky transportation during the lockdown period i think most of you have experience now there are so many models hopcoms model mango development corporation all are using initiatives by fpos putari fpo is by our own ihr fpo palamner fpo voluntary association us alumni also try to market look at this the pre covid and the post covid there is a significant different okay relationship at 1% level i wish to tell you know this is the very important thing so what it implies is during the covid period when social media has been used neither the volume of business has reduced nor the prices have reduced concomitantly the prices have increased this is what i wish to tell it is in a, the indian research journal of exchange and education you can catch hold of this uh, particular article so social media platform okay the sellers the farmers and contract farmers so the collection of the produce grading and directly linking and already putting into the targeted restaurants or office or whatever so this is the strategic model using the social media so needless to say i can always say that social media has an impact but i am not trying to tell you that your social media can replace the traditional media but i can tell you you need not waste your time by using traditional media which is more costly and time consuming even time is money therefore the today's session the doing agriculture marketing through the social media stands as a panacea for what we have been experiencing okay now uh, the digital fpo okay digital fpo means okay registration membership okay whether you are in a closed network or an open network so therefore all sorts of digital fpo is going to be the future you will have both traditional as well as the social media in place and already people are using it it is not out of place please understand this now so look at this uh, see ihr markets a lot of it uh, we have 300 technology plus so we have uh, licensed them to many of our uh, incubators and then you know and we also help them in marketing all these orders are collected through our ihr resin uh, cbi sbi you know app portal and through mobile we uh, consolidate the orders and then we are in the hand holding stage for about 3 years we are actually pushing these orders to our incubators who are going to do direct supply so this is another form of using the social media especially for our licenses we are doing this is one of the data i have been sharing then uh, there are a lot of uh, nabar promoted shivaganga organics okay they also do similar marketing okay then um, okay there is one more fpos who do the same job uh, recently we got it uh, inaugurated and then look at this both input side and output side i have been telling it is a single window here both the inputs are sold to the fpos at the same time they also sell the outputs 
and also through the this, this is about the coal press oil extraction one of the fpos okay then uh, watershed management again small and marginal farmers in copper look at how they did pra okay then mobilizing farmers through uh, social media bringing them together okay another uh, you know the, the livelihood project we have this in tumkur gram chetna fpos where they are not only selling and marketing they are also trying to improve the livelihoods okay create job opportunity especially in the nikra project which is run by krida okay we have tried to link them okay then uh, you know giving inputs uh, output uh, we also we do this in our tsp scsp program lot of physical movement is reduced and social media movement has increased the presence has increased i can say okay especially dryland farmers for you know when they do the seed collection germ plasm conservation i was taking a class on participatory germ plasm conservation so how we are motivating the farmers and the farm producer organization through seed villages and then everything we don't uh, conduct copious meetings so half of the thing only at the procurement stage of the seeds certifying and grading them and putting them as okay breeder seed or the certified seed we go there here also a lot of social media is used in this sort of marketing okay nab kisan of course uh, we had lot of our pgdm students working okay timer in pounding machine so many things uh, nab fins is already financed and all the fpos and hand holding done through social media okay there's another one especially you know the rems came in 2014 the much before enam rems was that uh, regulated electronic market uh, on a pilot scale they did in karnataka which later on paved the way for uh, establishing the enam so all this again social media impacts our goni koppal uh, it is a very famous uh, krishi vigyan kendra where we have promoted one fpo called as puthari fpo uh, they are all coffee growers and horticulture producers so extensively we been using our arka bagwani and these sort of app nap fins i have already told you so how we have been doing our arka bindu rose onion it's an export oriented uh, uh onion where we have promoted with 200 members okay so we have been exporting this also and then we have been you know organizing all our farmers especially during grading and packing okay the post harvest disease management is more crucial here so we give all this information through the social media and the needs are met and solar enabled millet processing unit a bhumika fpo thaveri another example where you know my friends from uh, millet research uh, sangappa chillerge he works on this a lot of good job they have also tried to bring impact please remember one thing gentlemen gone are those days where uh, you know used to i used to take my motorbike in 1995 and do a farm and home visit uh, i still remember the motorbike number c80 1855 it was an sd motorbike today nobody <laughs> goes so long okay everybody uses 90% social media and at a federated level or at a organized taluk or some level if a meeting has to be convened they will do the meeting otherwise that sort of old extension what i was doing nobody is doing it now and not needed also so similarly fp was for coffee and black pepper okay all these things how people are getting organized so now i showed you this slide i'm showing it again the marketing strategy has been developed using social media platform to connect with sellers and consumers all the negotiations take place through the social media and then only physically only the product moves out even for uh, remitting your train finance and money all your uh, uh, you know you you will get it on the imps or some platform you will get on the nef transaction so putari fpo i told you palamner fpo us alumni association i showed you the figures tenisery vegetables model in karnataka smartphone app they have created their own app see now i want to share one information with this house you may be wondering whether a mobile app can be developed by you or how much it would cost or uh, whether everybody should have an app or they should use 
some third party developed app and you can do it so you are waiting to me to answer this question so maybe you are from the icr institute you might have promoted a dozen fpos you might have been working with about a dozen krishi vigyan kendras or agri universities and so on my advice is wherever there is a unique selling proposition a particular product has to be marketed developing a mobile app with less than 3 to 4 lakh rupees it can cost if you develop it is free of cost so taking the license one debit card and then uh, hosting on the google play store i think within 3 lakhs you can be able to do it but you can imagine the volume of customers you can generate the volume of links and hits you can generate by the 3 lakhs that also you can put it under your marginal return marginal cost and budget it using all your opportunity cost so that is my advice for you then chennai fruits business especially appemidi uh, you know it has got a gi tag in sagar sagar of shumaga district so where you know this appemidi pickle the whole mango pickle has been promoted so this is how we've been doing so obviously facebook whatsapp whatsapp is number one so everybody you know this uh, town model story is under thing so yeah, wherever you go you have been promoted through the social media it is not out of place so see in an fpo i told you procurement of inputs is input factorization disseminating market information okay you give market information to the fpo they will organize the supply chains and value chain and obviously the same app can be used like our uh, arka bagwani app to disseminate technology and innovation and now you will be asking another question whether the same whether the same app is used for input marketing output marketing and all those things you can have for example if you take the krishi devgyan app developed by ifco you will get the answer so in a single app they touch production they touch marketing they touch monitoring they uh, they build brands so this is how they have been doing and even in our arka uh, vyapar app also the buyer can be a seller and seller can be a buyer he has to do double registration that's all can't a buyer also be a seller he can be a seller so this is how the apps are done okay and then some of the fpos also help you in financial service input supply procurement packaging marketing insurance and so on so it can be a pluralistic sort of activities of marketing which can take place in a single social media i am not uh, uh, i am not telling that instagram is bad whatsapp is good because i am not a broker of those apps based on the ease ease of use and the without bugs so people have hooked to whatsapp it is easy to open easy to save easy to serve except when fraud calls are coming you cannot record those whatsapp calls see in the morning i got a fraud whatsapp call from a police department saying that somebody has been arrested in a drug case so unfortunately i could not record that call because that was from pakistan 92 is the code of pakistan so like that in our uh, digital marketing agri marketing okay whatsapp calls cannot be recorded and uh, i think you should uh, work out i think ranjit and his team will also tell you see what is the proof of doing a marketing function through a social media how to record them what i do is i do when i open a laptop or something i can always do screen recording and save it as a wmv file for future transactions you can do similar exercises okay then obviously we have lot of growers association user association you can uh, link both growers association and user association especially in managing this uh, irrigation and maha grapes has done it so that you know the feedback from the ultimate users are also integrated into the fpos and the production system so that the take home message here so there was one study by ikrisat i think uh, dr ranjit is aware okay how to write to co some project so they were evaluating a lot of fpos how can we scope all these things and upscale the fpo see now yesterday in a chat session i did discuss with my 
NGO fellows, they were telling how to upscale this uh, social media model and uh, who will take responsibility. I told sir, first of all, the FPOs are in the infant stage. De tomorrow or day after, they are going to be federated at a district level, taluk level, CBBO, or based on some particular commodity interest groups. And once when they are federated, obviously they will be registered under the Companies Act and all the rules and regulation will work there. That is how you have to upscale this sort of social media agri-marketing through the FPOs using social media. A mechanism has to be devised. See, unlike, you know, suppose you do an F transaction, the Google Pay or something, it will generate a screenshot. You can share the screenshot of the transaction. Suppose you do it through WhatsApp or you do a phone call. How are you going to save that or preserve it as a preferential uh, message for your transaction? So all those things are quite researchable. We say that uh, value chain resilience. See, you have so many actors from the input or the uh, farmers to the consumption. Okay, every now and then the agree value chain resilience says, okay, you should not break the value chain, but you should con you should strengthen the value chain for which a plethora of government and NGOs and all are working to improve this. Ultimately, the the value is realized or the income is realized by the whoever is marketing only through a continuous value chain. Very important. So this is in fish marketing. Okay. It, uh, during COVID period, a lot of channels were disrupted. Okay. But still the uh, fish marketing channel, especially in Kolleru Lake, is one of the very important uh, uh, lakes where, you know, a lot of uh, fresh fish are uh, harvested and marketed. Uh, to our uh, dismay and surprise, the marketing did not reduce. It increased rather. Okay. So similarly, our uh, horticulture department with FPOs, you know, they put out these posters and now it's the mango season. Everywhere there are uh, melas, there are uh, exhibitions, there are uh, biodiversity fairs. Of course, IHR is having one biodiversity fair from tomorrow, the Trifle Biodiversity Fair, Mango, Jackfruit and Banana. So all un we wish that farmers are going to participate more and more, especially if all farmers don't come, no problem. What we have done is we have caught hold of the CEOs and some FPOs and a few representatives from the FPOs always visit our fairs. They get awareness, they get their social capital, link them and further use them. So Instagram has also been used in Village Story India, Rose Marketing, okay, then you know, ground net marketing, many individual farmers also have uh, used social media to market, not only FPOs, okay, then this turmeric powder. See, earlier, you know, because there was a disruption in the value chain, during COVID what happened was, lot of turmeric with the farmer but he does not know how to convert them into a powder. So actually, you know, IAHR and many other institutes, the Indian Institute of Spice Research. Okay, well, hey, what is his name? That uh, IASR, what Gowda he is? Andani Gowda, what is it? Anke Gowda, yeah, he is the head of the IASR. He trained people and then they started, uh, because of Anke Gowda's presence, he is a principal scientist at the Indian Institute of Spice Research. They ground into powder and marketed. <coughs> Similarly with other flowers, Kiran flowers, Rose Bazaar, these two girls, they are entrepreneurs. They studied in Washington and now they are doing this Rose Bazaar. Okay, all through, you know, uh, they market through social media app and Instagram and all that. Then Cohir Farms, Fig Marketing, okay, I have given you the mobile number. They say it is totally certified organic mark. It is very near Hyderabad, Sadashiv Pet, Vikarabad, Anandpur also they have. So then uh, obviously selling mangoes, you need not come to the street and nowadays even on all the highways simply come and sit. By three hours everybody will pick it up, a very good efficient model. You need not have a shop in Bangalore, people buy on the roadside. Mango Mela, WhatsApp number. IHR offers help to mango growers, direct marketing from tomorrow we have a biodiversity fair, 
See now, this is a very interesting. Farmer's peta. See what happened was, especially in Dharwar, Tirtha Halli. Okay, when we go there, lot of ash gourd was uh, produced. Then the farmer was, uh, he was, uh, he was just getting confused how to sell it. Corona is there. So what it uh, did was, he took a small training into convert them into peta. So he made his own peta. He converted 2,000 tons of ash gourd and he converted into peta which can be kept for a little longer time. Then he marketed. So this is how some innovations can also occur when you are using a imposed okay, social media. Because everything physically you cannot go. See today I wish to say that half our communication is all only by media. See I left Nam six years back. But even today I don't feel that I left Nam. Because all my friends whether Ranjit or my lunch group or entire Nam fraternity we are in regular touch. So today's class may look as if I am taking it on the social media. But no, I can see Sanjeev Kumar over there. I can see him laughing. I can see Ranjit Kumar there. I feel Sanjeev Kumar mere saathi bete hai. So therefore... Yes, sir, I am with you, sir. Yes. So therefore... Sir, good yes. afternoon. Yeah, I, I, I will take under 10 minutes, Sanjeev. No problem, sir. Okay, so... Nahin, Sanjeev, mera bolne ka matlab ye tha ki social media se agriculture marketing hi nahi. किसी भी रिश्ते को आप जोड़ सकते हो और मुझे कभी भी ये फीलिंग नहीं हुई कि मैं अकेला हूँ मैं अकेला नहीं हूँ पूरा नारम का संसार पूरा आईसीआर की संसार मेरे साथ है सो दैट इज हाउ वी यूज दिस माय मीडिया फॉर मार्केटिंग ऑफ कोर्स संजीव इज एन अग्री इकोनॉमिस्ट ही विल टेल यू ऑन दू फेसेट्स ऑफ द मार्केटिंग ऑन द इनपुट साइड एंड द अदर ऑन दउटपुट साइड सो टेरा को एस्पेली कोविल पट्टी कर रहा है आई थिंक माई Tamil friends, it's a black rice of Manipur, okay, and then how they are used in, into, you know, in Kovilpatti they do this Kerala Mittai. So they use this black rice to convert into a value added product. So all this has happened through the social media, not only agri marketing, agri marketing through value addition. How do you learn value addition? You can't go to Manipur and ask some people. See, how do you learn all the new things? Half of it is by social media. Okay. Flowers we have already discussed. Alfonso mangoes marketed by our horticulture department promoting a few FPOs. Okay. Which platform to use? See, suppose, you know, when you are doing an online thing, whether Google Meet is good or Zoom is good or paired Zoom is good. See, normally Zoom will, you know, it will wash out after 20 minutes. So only paid version of Zoom will can stay for hours together. So like that you should decide which platform to use when you are doing a meeting with the farmers, FPOs, farmers and so on. So now there is another confederation of all India traders, BharatEmarket.in. What these people have tried to do is, they have digitized 70 million offline traders. Please understand, digitized records are of utmost importance for doing social media agri marketing. If you don't have the records, okay, see, thanks to someone who did our uh, Aadhaar card. See, today with one Aadhaar card, one number, one digitized number, one OTP, you can do millions of things. So that is how we take this forward. So a lot of money has been pumped in the Atmanirbhar Bharat package and also in the MIDH, Mission on Integrated Development of Horticulture, Okay, the, even the micro food enterprises. So I've been on the board of this uh, NIMSME, National Institute of Medium and Small Medium Enterprises. So we also tell the same social media and then how to promote FPOs and medium enterprises and so on. Matsya Sampada Yojana also. All this money has gone not only in developing the production system but also the integrated marketing communication system using the social media. So similarly, animal disease control program, very important. In one of the recent lectures, I told how the public-private partnership and people use social media to control FMD or avian influenza or, you know, mad cow or whatever, bovine fever and things and so on. So almost of the 
1.5 crores are tagged and vaccinated and through you know even there was one uh, ai guy okay it was the, done through the bpd norm so a small mobile application and you know it will uh, cover the uh, information about the easter seat and actually guide the herdman when actually it should be inseminated so all such things are also the people are using social media they no longer depend only on their intuition and experience so many other things are already there okay medicinal plants similar story bee keeping i told you that ihr is having the first honey okay honey testing laboratory in india see now in the honey for example even recently patanjali and others are in soup see for example lot of chinese dextrose chinese dextrose syrup used to enter the market and they used to sell uh, buy one get one honey and all those things okay now uh, people also came out with medicinal honey so whether it is medicinal honey it is apis floria apis dorsata the rock bee we can test it and give you a report so it is a very cheap cost so the honey testing lab is with me with at ihr take the services and you know for everything the reports will be put on the internet you can download it so similarly okay when we say top tomato onion and potato total all fruits and vegetables okay production is one part of it marketing of vegetables is a highly volatile uh, commodity sanjeev is an economist he'll tell you what is a volatile commodity <laughs> what is a non volatile commodity see many times in vegetables especially there is a glut sort of situation and uh, absolutely uh, not uh, so much improved post harvest technology and converting into the value added products so every now and then we should be in touch with the consumers the producers the aggregators and the value adders so that what quantity of tomato or what quantity of the unsold product i can process for all this agri marketing to happen social media is a must so similarly you are seeing all these things and today even big basket everybody they are using social media you can get everything on this nutshell and ihr has come out with this uh, technology that vegetable vending machine which works on the solar power keeping quality has been extended to more than one week and small hawkers and aggregators can definitely use this how are they going to get the customers they will go near a flat open the vending machine already there is a list of consumers on the whatsapp they call them they come in front of the flat and take it up this is one method of agri marketing so lot of fpos have come to the rescue okay especially i told you kvk goni koppal so everywhere the fpos have been handled by ihr or kvk or some organization to improve and enhance their marketing network and do this sort of job so online network is going to help the farmers market the produce i told you about digitization of records so last two slides to go so what are the do's especially when you are using a whatsapp you can upload videos based on the need of the audience and kindly don't dilute by putting hanuman chalisa and all such messages it is going to dilute your marketing message second use supporting images and videos and don't put your photograph you don't do self promotion but promote the fpo make simple and effective content that is easy to understand preferably in local language regularly answer their comments and queries validated and practical information then also innovative delivery like arka samachar and all we have been doing some uh, thumbnail description of the video now the last slide what you should not do in social media marketing which is going to erode your credibility supplying false information and giving very high hopes that you are going to buy back it for a million rupees see put a what is that mango that uh, japanese mango which is sold at 3000 rupees a kilo what is it magasaki or something ha huh? yeah see now there is a one uh, message going on in the social media there is a medicinal value mango called magasaki from japan it is sold at 3000 rupees a kilo i have not eaten it i only seen it and i don't know whether that information is false and we have asked the ihr to update validate 
unregulated so including too much of theoretical content if you ask any scientist to give a message that fellow will download the entire agronomic package of practice using fancy titles that do not match the content like patanjali okay is noodles green noodles green sim green chaddi her thing is green okay making very tall claims green chaddi kya hote i also don't know. so using very fancy titles and uh, baba used to say patanjali baba isme zehar hai so whether zehar hai ya nahi hai he doesn't give the validated data so okay friends i quickly come to the conclusion uh, sincerely thanking director dr shrinivas rao coordinators ranjit and sanjeev for giving me this opportunity so agri marketing using the social media a virtual supply and value chain is there it is not a real value chain so any unwanted information loose information can screw up your value chain we have to train people to link through using the various media zoom webex or whatever then niyam is going to create producer or norm is going to create produce aggregator and data i told you digitization of records with flat number hostels and institution encourage reverse migration encourage local supply chains so if every fpo is linked with the e platform okay they can compete and collaborate we should also discover customer management service for example how to service a customer what are his queries whether the produce or did he receive the payment in time or whether the users have received the produce in time avoiding public conglomeration and malls and reducing infections very true in case of the covid develop local e savvy entrepreneur for example there are lot many just eight standard pass 10 standard pass people uh, who don't require phds to run a whatsapp mobile platform naram can also run a certificate course on such entrepreneurs so i was giving a lead to naram and i hope dr ranjit will be running the certificate course to develop entrepreneurs and the fpo based organization last but not the least you can you have to sync collaborate connect and network facilitators entrepreneurs and make agriculture marketing a simple and smooth affair thank you very much jai hind okay professor jai hind but uh, is there any question i'm sorry no 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 maine dr ranjit se vaada kiya tha ki i will stick to the point i will tell you what are the leads because uh, yesterday i didn't have time sorry professor but i hope norm is going to run a certificate course to train I these people you, in social I media you. i heard you doctor yeah so shall i stop sharing my screen we can have some questions i, I think you have already stopped you sharing okay so one minute there yeah. if any question any doubt yeah yeah please i am here professor i am here professor yeah then uh, we can hold our professor for few minutes more any question anything any clarification or any add on from uh, participant side either you can type in chat box or you can just unmute yourself and ask yeah no doubt he is quite energetic person and uh just on personal uh, information our professor is going to retire next year but uh, still he looks like a 30 years old for a guy so <laughs> no doubt about that energy level is quite high so, but any question about whatever uh, has been discussed in this session and uh, in fact uh, i liked the last uh, two three slides which he has mentioned about do's and don'ts for social media marketing and that is super important i can say that you know in many groups uh, i am seeing that people are start with mark uh, you know giving information regarding their business and after few days they are start to you know sending all those political messages religious messages <laughs> and that really alienate uh, many members in that group and so definitely that that kind that should not be you know practice when we are doing a business and mar- marketing through social media and he has also shared uh, several examples of what ihr is doing in arka vyapar that is his own creation and since he has gone to ihr i think he has added uh, so many feathers to that institute and he has brought 
a lot many dynamism uh, in that research institution. So uh, great to hear, Professor. I think uh, no one is having uh, any question clarification. You have already explained in detailed way. So thank you very much for your for your time and sharing all those experiences. With yeah, you have. No, I I have a, I have only one statement to make as a take home message. See. Earlier, 1960 extension work was done by extension workers, but today, 2024, the extension worker no longer does that sort of extension work. He gets it done through the FPOs and the other people, for which this farmer to farmer extension training the other FPOs become an important dimension, where the agri economists, the extension people, and all others are partnering to this sort of progress. Today nobody will do farm and home visit. It is got done through some outsource agency. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, so nice. Professor, you can type your email ID in the chat box. Uh, okay, well, I will. I'll tap. Okay, I'll just see. Uh, yeah, I'll, chat. Yeah. yeah. So, okay, I'll just. Uh, okay, if everyone has joined, we can. Okay, the hand. Okay, excellent energy talk. Share email address. Okay, I will do it. Uh, Dr. Ranjit will give my email address. Okay. Okay. okay that's all, sir. Nice. Great. Yes. Thank you. So nice of you. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah. You made will... me younger. You made me younger. I can see seen was also. Thank you, doctor. So nice of you. I leave the meeting, sir. I'll yes. Leave. And uh, we will have break for fifteen minutes. Muchabai.